Hey everyone on YouTube, it's Phil. I'm here with an update video. Uh, so a couple weeks ago I posted something. Uh, you might have seen another video we did where it was a, a part in one of our machines being machined. I zoomed in on it and I said, secret mystery part, uh, make your guesses. So what went on is that a few guesses came in and the ultimate Andy, congrats, you are the winner when you des uh, guessed uh, deck hook. So the part that we were machining, I've got it, my camera on it right now, it's this part right here, and it is in fact a deck hook. So what's going on is we've made some changes to the machine. Uh, brief history on what's going on. Uh, during last year, we had issues getting some of the motors that we typically used to use on the machine, and what was the uh, supposed replacement we put in the machine and then we were having a lot of failures. So that's not something we want to have go on with our customers is that they get failures after we install a machine. So we looked at redesigning and we thought we want to bring as much as we can in-house as far as manufacturing because we can control the quality. When you rely on somebody else making the parts, you can run into issues, uh, especially the quantities. We're, we're making things in low quantity. So if we were making tens of thousands of uh, whatevers, we, you know, we could control that quality with another manufacturer, but uh, because the lanes are built relatively slowly and uh, we don't manufacture a lot of parts, you know, even hundreds of them at a time, uh, we kind of rely on what's out in the field. But for this instance, we did do revision and we came up with a basically a mechanical way to shift the what's called the chute deck. So the chute deck is down in here it's this deck here up on top and moves back and forth to drop the pins through the deck assembly when we're going to set them up. I'm going to kind of get into this. This whole mechanism, it's kind of difficult to show it to you and difficult to describe how it works, but it is actually a fairly simple mechanism. It did take some time to work out all the uh, logistics of it, and uh, it's done now, and we're ready to show it. But like I say, it's a little difficult to explain but I'll do my best here and see what we can come up with. So uh, what we've got is the deck hook. One of the reasons we came up with the deck hook was that part of what we found from some of our earlier installations is there used to be what's called the off spot switch and that would be kind of positioned over and back of that post there. That controlled when the deck stopped uh, when it was going down to check for pins. If that switch went out of adjustment or needed to be replaced, it was actually kind of a difficult adjustment to do. Not something we want to have just a homeowner do or somebody really not mechanically inclined do. So we, we kind of looked at how can we make this simpler for people. And what we ended up doing was going with the deck hook, as you can see it here. And now we have the off spot switch, which is actually on the deck hook. Now, I know you're thinking, how is it the off spot switch if it's on the deck hook? And what happens is if the deck gets to a certain point and that switch has not been actuated, then it tells the controller that there is an off spot. So it, it's all based on the motor shaft and there's other switches up there. It kind of all works together, but that's what goes on. Uh, if that switch does get hit, then the machine stops because now it knows that the deck is at the respot height. So what happens is when we cycle the machine, this crank arm, actually the crank arm on the other side, it runs in the forward direction. So this arm here moves to the back. Uh, this is not the crank arm, this is actually the actuator arm as we're calling it, but it moves to the back and that allows the deck hook to move down and grab this roller here. Uh, this rod is attached out here to this actuator assembly. I'm gonna try and get a different angle here. So. Here's the rod I was just pointing to. It's attached to this actuator assembly. This moves back and forth based on that arm back there. Okay. And then as that arm goes back, it pulls this back, which allows the, uh, I'm trying to get a different angle, which allows the deck holding hook to move back and grab onto the, the shaft back there. Sorry, there's some wires in the way. The shaft back there that, uh, as part of the deck assembly. So hopefully you got all that. I'm gonna run it so you can actually see it. And you'll see what goes on. I'm gonna trigger this. So 
So I'm triggering it, and hopefully you can kind of see what happens here. So the arm will move back. There we go, that lowers the deck hook. Comes back up. And then spots the pins back down. So what happens when we go spot the pins is it actually runs in reverse. So this is going to run forward, which actually moves the deck hook out of the way. Okay, and that allows the deck to go all the way down. What happens out here is this is part of our new actuator assembly. This rod will move forward. It actually holds this assembly arm all the way forward. And what that does is there's an arm, a rod, I can actually hopefully get the side here. It's this rod right here. It runs down and is attached, I'm trying to get a good angle here, is attached to the shoot, shoot deck right there, okay? And what that does is as the deck assembly is going down, the distance between the deck assembly and this point right here gets further, so that actually pulls the deck forward, the shoot deck that is. And what we do is we're using this arm in association with that crank arm back there to make sure that happens. So this comes, this comes forward and holds this arm uh, forward. Once the shoot deck gets to its uh, spotting position, it's all time in the machine. This arm actually releases and lets that go back. So I'm going to run a couple of spotting cycles and you'll get to see this. Uh, I'll shoot, first show it from the side. So you can see what's happening there, and then I'll come out here and show you the arm. So let me uh, spot this right now. So you can see the crank arm is going to run forward now. There you go. You see it lifts the hook out of the way. Okay, now I'm just going to cycle the machine again so we get it on second ball. Out here, what's going on, you can see what's happening on the respot cycle that this back arm doesn't even touch the front arm. The front arm is just free to move back and forth. Therefore, the deck doesn't shift. So now I'm gonna cycle it and you can see what kind of goes on here. So here comes the arm forward. There we go, releases it. And that spots the pins. So that's our new mechanism. Uh, we have done a lot of testing. There's thousands upon thousands of cycles that we've tested on this to make sure everything's working okay. And it's been working great. So it's in-house built. We don't have to rely on any outside vendors. It's all our own products uh, that we make right here at our facility. So if you have any questions about what you've seen, as I said, it was a little difficult, but feel free to leave me some comments down there and I will answer them as best I can. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I, wonder, I bet you're wondering for building any new lanes, and uh, yes, we are. We have some lanes currently under construction right now. So if you live in Ohio or Utah, maybe one of these is coming to your neighborhood, and you'll get lucky and get the bull on one of our lanes. Uh, can't tell you exactly where they're going. That's uh, confidential information. But uh, that's where they're going is Ohio and Utah. So. Hopefully we'll have some more coming soon. Uh, we'll send you some, or we'll do some videos of these once they're all completed. I uh, always like to show what they look like before we deliver them to the customers. I know you guys really enjoy seeing that too. So uh, we'll have those coming. Hopefully by the end of the month, they're gonna be going out the door and uh, we'll have the videos well before that. So uh, until then, have a good one.